revocation of continuing guarantee now what is continuing guarantee guarantee means where a person you know gives surety to a person i'll explain you let's say there are three persons a b and c there is a transaction that is happening between a and b a sells goods to b and ideally b should give guarantee to uh, b should give money to a but what happens is b has no money currently so b does not have money so what happens is b goes to c and tells him that a has given me goods on credit i do not have any money now but he wants your guarantee because c is somebody who is who is a person of reputation he is a very you know he possibly may be a big shot of the you know business tycoon so a wants c's guarantee to sell goods to b on credit because he does not trust b he does not know if b will pay or no after the credit period expires so he wants guarantee of c who is a very big person so c whose relative of b gives guarantee to a gives guarantee to a now what do you mean by giving guarantee c gives guarantee to a that on due date b will pay you and if he doesn't pay you i will pay the amount so this is the guarantee that is given by c okay so this is a guarantee now what is a continuing guarantee continuing guarantee means a guarantee which continues for many transactions over a period of time let's say a has given a credit limit of 1 lakh to b a tells him you can purchase goods up to the limit of 1 lakh but the condition is c has to give guarantee for the same so first b purchases goods of 10000 and after 2 months he purchases goods of 20000 after 3 months he purchases goods of 15000 so now this guarantee is like a blanket guarantee it is working on all the transactions it is working on many transactions it is continuing it does not stop otherwise a specific guarantee is for only a specific transaction here multiple transactions are covered the guarantee is continuing so what happens to such a continuing guarantee unless otherwise agreed continuing guarantee is revoked revoked means cancelled continuing guarantee is revoked as to future transaction from the date of change in the constitution of the firm okay now let's say instead of c there was a firm this is a firm where c d and e are partners and this firm has given a guarantee to a now what happens is e dies so now there is a reconstitution in the firm in that case the guarantee gets cancelled gets terminated there and then so all the future transactions will not be covered by this guarantee they will without this guarantee because this guarantee has been revoked on reconstitution so whenever there is reconstitution in the firm and the firm has given any uh, continuing guarantee the continuing guarantee will get revoked on the reconstitution and reconstitution may be on any account it may be because of death it may be because of insolvency it may be because of retirement expulsion anything 